Apple's new slate of hearing health features for the AirPods Pro are available now in iOS 18.1. So in this video, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough. I'll show you the hearing test and how you can get your AirPods Pro 2 set up as an official hearing aid. So you need a pair of AirPods Pro 2 and you need to be running iOS 18.1. Now, technically it's still in beta, but the release candidate version just included the new hearing health features. But come next week, it should be officially available to everyone uh, via a software update. So to find these features, you just Go into settings and when your lid is open or when the AirPods are in your ears and it's connected, you'll see that your AirPods show up in the settings menu and then under the AirPods, there's a hearing health section and you'll see you have two technically three different options, but there's hearing protection, hearing assistance, or you can jump right into taking a hearing test. Now, one of them automatically just takes you into a hearing test, but in the hearing protection section, this includes a loud sound reduction option that is enabled automatically. Loud sound reduction listens for loud noises around you in transparency and adaptive modes, and it reduces the level of the noise to prevent hearing loss. So if you're at a concert, for example, you could technically just use these as a very fancy pair of earplugs and it'll do its best using transparency and everything to reduce the louder sound so that you're not blowing out your eardrums. You ever go to a concert and you come home with ringing in your ears? Hopefully that should help eliminate that or at least greatly reduce it. And then in the hearing assistance section, this is off by default, but this is where you're gonna take your hearing test. And it's just like something that you've done at a doctor's office, you know, an audiologist, or if you've done one in school before, it's a very simple, you know, it'll play some sounds in your ears and you'll let them know whether or not you hear that sound. And so this again is meant to determine whether you have any hearing loss. If you do have hearing loss, the test determines which frequencies you're struggling with. So with the AirPods in your ears, you'll tap get started. And as you can see here, it'll ask you a few different questions. Now I am currently congested. And so I will want to retake this uh, at a future date because I don't think the, um, the test is going to be super accurate. So hopefully I can retake this test and I'll have better results in the future, but I'll walk you through everything. As you can see, it's gonna ask you some questions and then you're gonna go through and it's gonna play noises and frequencies and you're gonna tap when you hear it. And you need to be in a quiet environment and it'll test to make sure that you are in a quiet environment. So after going through the hearing test steps, you'll get your hearing test results with separate decibel levels detected for each ear. So if you get something like a five decibel hearing level, that means you have little to no hearing loss at all and no adjustments will be made. Uh, Apple says that results up to 25 decibel hearing levels indicate little to no hearing loss. 26 to 40 is a sign of mild hearing loss, while results of 41 to 60 suggest moderate hearing loss. And if your test does show mild to moderate hearing loss, you'll have the option to turn on the hearing aid feature for the AirPods Pro. And then with this enabled, the AirPods Pro can use the data from your test to boost these frequencies whenever you might have trouble hearing, making it easier to hear voices or other sounds around you. And then there's also the media assist feature and it'll make all of those adjustments on the fly and apply it to music and movies across all of your devices, which is fantastic. And then if you wanna see even more information from your hearing test, you can go to the hearing section of the health app and then you can tap in to see a graph of which frequencies you had the most trouble with. And so that's just a quick rundown of the hearing protection features that you get with the AirPods Pro 2 and of course, iOS 18.1. And I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on all this? I think this is a fantastic free software upgrade for your AirPods that just make these even more useful in your everyday life. But I wanna hear from you in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.